Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, More Common Criticals. Today we are going to be doing my five favorite books that I read in 2017. No, they are not all 2017 books. Uh, they are books that I read in 2017. So let's just dive in and go through them. They are not in any particular order. I will just pick them up uh, from my little pile that, I've, I, that I have here and I will tell you why they are my favorite books of the year. First up is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Ali Steins. This book is about a um, the relationship between Aristotle and Dante and it is a book that deals with love, friendship, and family and those are all things that I look forward to in books um, and most of the contemporaries that are my favorites uh, deal with those topics and mostly family is very important to me and this book definitely uh, put focus on family um, so I really enjoyed that. Um, it was also very well written and the story was very engaging um, so that's why I really enjoyed it. I just loved <laughs> the characters. Ari and Dante were so 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 sweet and I just loved them so much. Um, they are now part of my uh, favorite characters of all time and I know this book will stay with me for a very long time and I just really want to read it all the time. I just love it so much and I think about it quite a lot so uh, yeah it was very good. You should all read this. You should all read all of the books on this list actually. <laughs> They're so good. Next on uh, this list is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. This is a story of Henry Denton who after the death of his boyfriend um, really struggles with mental health issues and it is a very amazing portrayal of uh, mental health issues as a person who has dealt with depression and anxiety and anxiety anxiety I can see why all of these books make sense and also again <laughs> the family dynamic in this is so wonderful and I just loved every second of it the friendship in this is wonderful and I just love um, this book so so much I love um, how the portrayal of a relationship was done in this book, how it's not always black and white and it's not always so freaking easy. It was so beautiful and it is, it, of course it has a bit of a sci-fi feel to it because Henry um, visits um, aliens in the night and he has to decide whether or not the um, human species should live or not. Um, so. It is just so beautiful and um, if you are not a fan of, of contemporary, um, try and pick this up because it makes a difference in a life. It was so very touching and it, it just made me think so much and it is a pretty thick book for a contemporary. It, it's uh, 450 pages long but it is uh, worth the while, worth the read. It was so very good. I just loved this so so much. Next book on my list is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch and I read this book earlier in the year and gosh it got me on a ride. It was just so good. And this is a story of Jason who um it's this is not a spoiler by the way it happens in like the first 10 pages of the book but he um he gets kidnapped one night and he ends up in a world that is not his home. He doesn't live with his wife, there, he doesn't have a son anymore um, and it's uh, you know dealing with um, family again, <laughs> um, relationships, it deals with uh, of course a lot of uh, sci-fi elements. It is a book set in many parallel dimensions so of course if you like sci-fi and if you like thrillers this is very good it's very interesting the final books on my list are part of the same series and if you've been oh and you see them <laughs> if you've been here for um a month just a month you will know it is 
something I am obsessed with <laughs> quite a lot um, and it is one of my favorite thing in the world um, if m those might be w uh, my favorite books ever and that's a big thing to say those are the uh, first two books in the Wayfarers series by Becky Chambers so the long way to a small angry planet and a close and common orbit they are uh, sci-fi books um, set in space um, in a world where um, multi-species uh, live together and just, um, you know, it is amazing. Uh, those two books don't uh, focus on the same characters and those stories are very much character driven. and. They are spectacular. Um, they are not small books. Um, f well, this one is bigger than this one, but they are not small books. But they are so easy to get through because you you get attached to the characters so easily, and I just love them all. They're they're all my babies. <sighs> I just love them so much. Um, the thing I love about those books is that they deal with um, diversity in such a beautiful way and it just... I don't even know how to explain my love for those books. Yeah, it is so diverse and it deals with issues that are very relevant to our society right now. Read them. They're sci-fi but they are so accurate to the world that we live in right now um it's just it's as if Mickey Chambers took our world and put it in a sci-fi world and made it better because our society is shit <laughs> and this society um we should I just <sighs> those books made a difference in my life I don't even have words to describe how much I love those books and how much I love those characters and how, how excited I am for the next book in this series. If you haven't read this, these books, I'm telling you, read them right now. Don't wait, just go and grab the first one and read it. Those books led me speechless. Uh, they blew my mind. It, read them okay if you read them I will like you you don't have to like them just try them okay but you will like them because they are so good they are so good those books are not hyped enough they need to be more hyped and people need to read them because <laughs> they were amazing but anyways I'm gonna stop right now because <laughs> this is renting uh, but yeah those <laughs> are the five books um, that I loved, loved, loved this year. Um, of course I've read more good books this year, it was actually a pretty good reading year for me, but those were the ones that made a difference um, in my life and those are the ones that I will remember for a very long time. Those are the books that I would put on my um, reread uh, list, which I just like, I don't care about other books. I, I could read those books and never read any other books ever and I would be satisfied. But anyways, <laughs> um, that was it. Please um, let me know down below if you read any of those books and if you did, let me know your thoughts. I don't care if you didn't think they were so good. I wanna know, I wanna know what you thought of them. Um, so please let me know down below and if you haven't read them, go read them now, okay? They're super good and they're worth your time. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos um, about amazing books. <laughs> Have a very lovely day. I will see you all later. Bye!